to the love, and the love to the me, and the me to the love, and the love to the me, and the many me love, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> a quick and easy mini meatloaf meal prep for the whole week. I have lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years. And meal prep was one of the most important things for my success on my journey. Because any time on my journey that I got hungry and didn't have my meals prepped, I would end up eating things I didn't want to, which led to overeating, and then I would go way off track. So having tasty meals like the one I'm gonna show you today prepped and ready to go really helped me look forward to what I was eating and keep me on track. So I'm gonna be making mini meatloafs with ground turkey, but then to make this extra like quick and easy, I'm gonna be using box mashed potatoes for the mashed potato side, and I'm gonna make this low calorie, and then for the green beans that I'm gonna serve with it, I'm using frozen, and this is gonna make it super easy because there's no cleaning, prepping, or cutting the green beans at all, just literally heat them through. I'm gonna be using onion soup mix for this. So my goal is to make about six to eight days worth of meals. Half for me, half for Sasaruni, my friend behind the camera. <laughs> and then I'll show you how I divide it out later and I'll tell you the calories for the meal at the end of the video. I'm gonna make the mini meatloaves first. And the reason why I make them in the mini, in the muffin trays and make mini meatloaves is that I find making them in the muffin trays helps me control the portion and the calories much better versus making it in a loaf. It's a lot harder to control the portion size when it's all one big loaf like that. This way, it'll be two per serving and it's pretty much even and uh, the calories and portions are very steady in this kind of thing. So we're gonna do two pounds of ground turkey and I've already got my muffin trays sprayed with cooking spray and the oven is preheated to 350 degrees so I'm gonna just put the turkey in this bowl here while I'm doing this I'm gonna tell the story of why we're making meatloaf <laughs> Kyle and I have been watching Steve Wallace, his stealth camping videos on YouTube lately, and in one of his videos, he was making meatloaf in like in a bag, like he put everything in a bag and he used onion soup mix, and he cooked it in tin foil on the fire. So I started craving meatloaf and I decided I'm gonna make my own low calorie version like that, but cook it in the stove instead of on the fire, the way he did. So that's why we're making meatloaf. <laughs> um, so I have the two pounds of turkey in there, half a cup of plain breadcrumbs. This is the one that I'm using. Half a cup there. A whole package of, um, this is the great value onion soup mix. Whatever onion soup mix you can find, the whole thingy. Two large eggs are going in. I've got the two large eggs, the onion soup mix, half a cup of plain breadcrumbs, two pounds of lean ground turkey. I'm just gonna mush this all up. You can use a spoon, I just like to mush it all with my hands. And then I'm gonna divide it in and see how many meatloafs I get to see how many servings I'm gonna get. So let's go, buddy. <laughs> so I'm thinking it'll be about half an hour and the meatloaf, the meatloafs, loaves will be ready. So I forgot, it's half a cup of ketchup, no sugar added ketchup I'm using, goes in to the mix. So we're gonna add that in and I'm just gonna combine that in and then I'll scoop out and measure out the meatloafs. All right, the friends, we're all mixed up and ready to go. I'm just gonna take a scooper and scoop the meatloaf into their little trays. You want to leave a bit of room, right? Like you don't want to fill it right up. Right now I'm using an eighth, I decided to use an eighth of a cup scooper and I'm gonna just see, I'd like to get at least 12 to 16 and then if there's room, I'll add 
a little bit more. All right, so it divided perfectly between the 16 muffin cups. So that's gonna give me eight days worth of mini meatloaf. I'm going to top each meatloaf with half a tablespoon of that no sugar added ketchup. Okay, that's it. I'm going to put these meatloaves in the preheated oven, which was 350 degrees, and I'm gonna cook them for 15 minutes, then check them, and then probably cook them for another 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, the friends, I have four bags of these cut green beans. I'm gonna pour them in a large pot with water and boil them until they are completely like heated through, and then I'll show you how I divide them up into the meal prep containers. All right, the friends, I got a package of Betty Crocker mashed potatoes. I have, it's got two pouches in it, and what we're gonna do is take, we're gonna make both pouches, so we need three cups of hot water. I'm gonna pour that into a saucepan, and then we need four tablespoons of light margarine. I'm using the light basil, and I'm gonna boil this Bring this up to a boil, and then I'll show you the rest. We're gonna add in the potatoes and the milk, and then mix it up, and that's it. Okay, the friends, the water and margarine is boiling, so I'm gonna remove it from the heat and bring it over and add in the milk and the potatoes. So I've got one cup of this Silk Creamy Cashew Unsweetened Milk. I'm gonna pour that in, and then I'm gonna pour both packages of the mashed potatoes in, and then I'm gonna stir with a, a fork until they're nice and creamy and well blended. Wow, it's magic. I know, isn't it cool? And that should be really good to go. It'll stand and sit while we're making the rest of the stuff and then I'll divide it all up. One time I tried to stand and sit at the same time, I couldn't do it. Um, let's see, where's the, you like this. Here you go, stand and sit, look at this. <laughs> look at my scooping action here, my mashed potatoes. You're multi-talented. Whoa! Test these muscles up. <laughs> okay, while everything else is cooking, I'm gonna divide the mashed potatoes up. I'm gonna start by dividing it into six containers, well, four containers and two plates, because Sassy and I are eating this for dinner tonight. And then if there is more, I'll put it in the others. So I'm gonna do half a cup of mashed potatoes per serving. Wow, that's cooked out cute, didn't it? <laughs> really cute. That. And I got those containers from Walmart because um, a lot of you guys often ask, just in the regular container section. Okay, looks like there is enough. So I'm gonna put, wow, that was that perfectly made eight half cup servings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the friends, the beans are done. The meatloaf is done. It took 30 minutes, um, 15 minutes. I cooked them, then I switched the trays in the oven and cooked them for another 15, and they are perfect. So I'm gonna scoop one cup of beans for each container and then leave some space for the cute meatloaf. Just stick your hand right in there. It's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, you like beans? <laughs> oh my God. People ask us if we're ever gonna have kids. Probably not. And imagine how messed up they would be. Um, considering I'm wearing shark flip-flops right now, I'm probably not mature enough to <laughs> All right, so that turned out perfect. We actually have leftover beans, probably quite a few more days, we'll throw that in a container in the freezer and then use it for a future. The best way to scoop these out, I think, is a little spoon. Oh yeah, perfect. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna put two per. These turned out really cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill up all these containers. Muffin meatloaf. Yeah, it's perfect. So we have now eight meals, four for me, four for Sassy. We're eating one tonight, and we're gonna have um, a few more meals for the rest of the week, which is great. All right, the friends, so now we've got three meals for Sassy for the week, three for me for the week, and one each for tonight, and this is the calories. So um, 
they were made by me, the calories. They're just an estimate. So always do your own calculations because um, I'm a me and I wear these, so I'm probably not accurate. <laughs> but estimate is for the entire meal of the half a cup of potatoes, one cup of green beans, and two mini meatloaves, we're looking at about 398 calories, 38 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and 29 grams of protein. That is a solid meal. All right, so that is it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna know the exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, I have two weight loss eBooks. The links are down below, along with the link for my brand new guilt-free cookbook and the link for the huddled supplements. Harder than last time. This is one of my favorite protein powders, Luckier Marshmallow. You want some? Check it out down there, or you can watch one, two videos for free to see exactly how I love my food and love my life and lose my weight and keep it off. Because I'm a meatloaf girl, I'm a meatloaf girl, I'm a meatloaf, meatloaf girl. Meatloaf girl, I'm a meatloaf girl, I'm a meatloaf, meatloaf girl. Love ya. <laughs> I guess I should say, if I'm a meatloaf girl, I should probably try it. So let's have a bite of this. Mmm. Wow. The ketchup and the soup mix made it really moist. That is really flavorful. Wow, you don't even know that's ground turkey. Thanks, Steve Wallace. Thanks, Steve Wallace. And uh, let's have some green beans and tater. Mm. You're gonna love this, Bubba. Comfort food without the calories. Low calorie comfort food makes you dance and bend your knees like. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you in the next vid. Love ya. Peace. See ya. Yeah. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. <laughs>